creating a form and custom form fields. Navigate to settings, scroll down, and then click on form fields. This is where you can create and edit different form fields. Click on new. Input the relevant information for the form field. Input the ID for the form field. And the type of field that it will be. You have a range of choices from text to hidden. I'm going to choose email. Then click save. Once that is successfully saved, you will see a range of mapping options for this field. For the moment, I'm going to map it to a lead. So as I've decided to map the email address, I'm going to find email and select it from the list. Double clicking on it will save this to the field. You can do the similar thing for contacts. Then click save and close. You've now created your form field. To create your form, click on web content in the click dimensions menu. Then select new. And create a name for the form. Make sure that you leave the type selected as form. Select the domain that the form is going to be registered to. Then select the option for create new visitor as. This can either be done as a lead or a contact. Select the owner for the form and then click save. In this box you can select an automatic response email for when the form is submitted. Design a form, click on the design button. You'll notice that there are a range of different options down the right hand side. These are all the different form fields that have been created. Simply select and drag the form field into your form. Double click on the form field to then edit the properties. So we can choose how we want to format this field. I'm going to select three columns, making it the entire width of the form. We can then choose how we want to map this. This has already been done for us in this case. Then select OK. To preview your form, select the preview option. This is a good way of making sure that the form makes sense. You can then test your form out and click submit. This will not create a record. It is purely just a trial run. Then click save. Should you wish to create additional form fields that are not available to you, navigate down to the new button and then go through a similar process to creating the form field as we did earlier, selecting your formatting and mapping for the field. Once you are satisfied with your field, save again and then click embed. This, this will give you your options for embedding the form. As you can see, we have a link that you can send out via email. We have an iframe that you can embed into a page or you can embed it as a widget. Then once you have chosen which form you would like, copy that. and then click OK. Then click Save and Close. You have now created your form. 